Chair recognizes Mr. John Connell. Hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm in favor of this. Uh, been a long time proponent of uh, juries knowing all the information that they ought to know. Um, first time I ever heard of jury nullification, I was kind of amazed at the political spectrum from the far left to the far right and everybody in between, every group that I could have even imagined, groups I never even heard of, I don't even know where some of them fit, all these people that have nothing in common agreeing that we need to have our rights as jurors that have been forgotten, we need to be reminded from the far right to the far left. I'd like to echo the gentleman that spoke earlier. He referred to liberty and justice. Most everybody in this room, and I presume in the building and in the city and in the state, since childhood pledged an allegiance to that red, white, and blue flag there. Mm -hmm. At the end of that pledge, it's with liberty and justice for all. I think that in this country, we're losing that, and we're losing it at a rapid pace. Most people don't consider it. They, they swell up in their heart when they hear this liberty and justice. Who's to protect this liberty and justice? Another gentleman mentioned the Constitution and the Republic, and that the Republic is above this corporate thing. I don't quite understand what all that is, but I do know this. If you look at the, let's say for example, uh, the Constitution of the United States, it starts off saying that we the people create this Constitution. So the, we the people came first. We're above the Constitution. We create it. The Constitution then creates three branches of government the executive, the legislative, and the judicial. They create all these laws and interpret these laws. But in order to do so, to punish anybody under any law that has been created, where, do, where does the Constitution say that the, that the government that has created these laws has to go? It has to go back to we the people. We the people are on top, and we the people should be the judge of the law. This judge that sat here earlier, he said that he believes a lot of the, a lot of these people, the proponents, are confused, or whatever his wording was. We, we don't understand. We're just the little people over here, right? We don't know what we're really in favor of. Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm in favor of. I'm in favor of the jury judging the law. And if it happens selectively, then it ought to happen selectively. Somebody else mentioned the jury trials in the Salem witch trials. Why did the jury trials end in Salem, Massachusetts? Why did prohibition end? The old prohibition. The judges sat here, continued to say marijuana, marijuana, marijuana. I don't use marijuana, by the way. The other prohibition of alcohol years ago, why did that end? Because juries refused to convict their neighbors. They began to get a sense of what was happening in their community. And they said, we need to stop the madness. We need to stop the madness. And we have the right to stop the madness. And people used to know that they had the right and power and, let me tell you this, responsibility. It's the responsibility of a juror to stand in between, as Representative O'Brien uh, was referring to, standing between the government and the accused. It is the responsibility of the juror. The judge liked to refer to... Uh, when in the South, some white juries, all white juries, or whatever it was, refused to convict. Well, yeah, that's horrible. There's been a lot of times when things don't go exactly right. Um, he, he talked about when John Adams uh, had the case. Uh, William Penn is another case. So there, there are these cases in history uh, where sometimes things have gone right and some things have gone wrong. The conscience of the community is going to be there. Um, I don't know if I'm making my, my point on that very well. Uh, I'm not used to testifying. I've only done this uh, one other time. In fact, it was on, on, another, on another bill that I thought was important. Take time off of my schedule. I don't like hanging around here. I, I, like, I, I have a productive life to do, and, and, I, and I came here one other time because I thought something was so important that I had to come here. And it was not related to jury rights and jury nullification. And somebody was concerned that people could be wrongfully convicted 
un, or, or improperly convicted or, or justice wouldn't be served if there were convictions, convictions under the law that they were discussing. And I said, I have to speak up. I was here mostly to watch that. Well, let's, let's said, stay Let on this tell, bill, okay. Okay, let, um, but, but, but it was directly, uh, I said, I need to speak to this committee because jury nullification gets at that. You will not have wrong convictions. Uh, if, if all we needed to talk about was the evidence before the jury, then why don't we just have a computer? Why don't we just put all the evidence into a computer? And then there won't be any mistakes. All you folks that want to pass all the laws can put all the information into the computer. And the judge can sit up there, because he's pretty smart, he's been to a lot of school, he can help to decide to make sure, you know, which are the facts that go in and which ones don't. Because he does that when he sits on his bench in front of the jury. And he can put in all that information, and then he can just send the jury aside and say, well, just put this in, and, 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 and that's all we'll need, because we'll just have Excuse that. Excuse me, sir, would you kindly stop interrupting witnesses when they're speaking? Thank you very much. Um, please continue, sir. I think I, I think I only have one more point, and um, uh, the judge, I think it was the judge that mentioned that some judges can decide to overturn if the judge wants to do that at the end of the case. He was saying how horrible it is that a jury might be able to do this in the face of the law. And then he admitted that a judge can do that, and he, he, he doesn't like it, but if, if it's if it's his case and he decides to do it, you're going to like it on that day, isn't he? <laughs> he admitted that. But the thing that came to mind in that case, what is that the judge is allowed to do? He is allowed to act in the direction of mercy. The accused person in this country is supposed to be presumed innocent. The responsibility of the juror is to stand between that person and the accuser, and the accuser is the government. The juror is supposed to be on the accused side. And the judge can act with mercy when he feels like it. The juror ought to do it every time. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much, sir. Any questions for Mr. Connell from members of the committee? Seeing none, thank you very much. Thank you. Chair recognizes Mr. Richard Tommaso of Manchester, representing the Libertarian Party.